You know what? I'm not going to tell you what I have for breakfast. What do you think about that? You know what? Lunch either. Forget it. Not even dinner! All right, guys, today we are in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. My eye is twitching and my wife doesn't believe that there's aliens. But here is a spirit Halloween and we're gonna go in and see what kind of awesomeness we can find. I don't even know what this used to be. Not that it really matters, but anyways, let's go in. All right, guys, here we go. You know what, we usually go talk to Mr. Grimm and the bog zombie first, but let's go through here first. And look at this, we have young, crouchy Mr. Hairdo. Let's get him going. Look at that hair. Look how frizzy it is. I would love to see somebody like give him a perm. And we got Barry on the other side here. Every time I see this guy, it makes me think of the first Hocus Pocus movie. At the end when the bullies are in the cages, hanging in there just trying to get out. And Max comes up and he takes his shoes back, his cross trainers. We can hear the bubbles of death. We can see the bubbles of death in all four corners. Does this work up here? Yes! Come on now, Jack. We know you're in there. I love how I made my intro this year without even seeing that. And I put the bats in there and it looks just like it. So totally awesome and cool. Let's move out here. It's so funny, guys, like just how different each and every one of these stores are. You would think they're all going to be the same, but like a couple that I was in yesterday were so just disheveled and people running around tearing everything off and like all the plush was laying down here and this is all organized and nice in here. And then we got this guy over here making his spider sounds and trying to get me with his tentacles. I love how they have that set up there. I mean, they could have just left it plain blank and empty, but they took the creeper and they put him up there as if he's crawling down and ready to attack. Please don't make me your dinner, sir. I'm just a kid. All right, let's swing back around here and see the bog zombie. You gotta love the bog zombie. Man, I'm so bummed that very soon we're not gonna be able to come in the stores and see these guys anymore. I'm gonna miss you, Bog Zombie. And let's take a look at Grim here real quick before we move on. Come on now, Grim. On this dark night. <laughs> these things just never get old. Man, I'll tell you what, this is the perfect place for Tombstone of Terror because so many times in these stores, I've walked right by him, didn't even see him around this little corner here, and he ends up jumping up and scaring the living crap out of me. Just like that. What? What? <laughs> he had like an extra jump. He jumped up after he already did it and he didn't even make his sounds or anything. That guy is a serious trickster. You know what? Let's leave some stickers for that guy. Here he comes. Is he gonna jump up? Okay. Stickers for you. There he is. I told I knew it. He waited and he tricked me. Alright, guys, I cannot wait to get in here and see just what everything that they have, but let's go back and see this setup back here first. Even though I have seen this stuff so many times, guys, I love walking through the store and seeing all these things set up, begging for us to come step on the step pads and get them doing whatever it is they're gonna do. What are you going to do, bottomless Joe? <laughs> He's turned way down. They probably get so sick and tired of hearing his crazy, crazy laugh all day. All right, there's bottomless Joe. Let's check out Mr. Nozzles here. Come on, Nozzy, come on. I love how this is like looking through the window into the spooky haunted house and Nozzles is just waiting right there to get us. Waiting to burn us with his jalapeno nose. Here comes Mr. Skelly. Here I come. I just love his eyes. I love how they put like the red little squiggles on there, like real eyes. All right, let's see if we can get Bag of Bones going here. Come on there, Baggy, come on. There we go. And we have one of my favorites this year. Honestly, guys, I say that all the time. 
because all of them are one of my favorites. But the straw man is totally awesome. Let's see if we can get him going here. I've been keeping these tools nice and sharp. Just in case the farmer's spirit returns this year. I think he will be very pleased with how I've been running things. And I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the crow in the end. All right, let's get Betty Sharp going here. Come on, you Betty. Be licking my back. Just stick your head in real slow. <laughs> I think that's my favorite phrase that she says. Like she wants us to stick our head in the bag just to see what's in there, and then she's gonna chop it off. Let's get our jumping spider going here. Come on now, here we go. He's getting ready. There he is. I love how they used him in the new Spirit Halloween movie. Totally awesome. I just wish that they would have had a scene where there was like a hundred of them going absolutely ballistic. All right, we got Regan up here too. Let's get her going. I still say I wish that she did more while she's talking instead of just standing there. But I do love how her head spins. All right, you crazy evil thing. Yes, look at this, guys. We got a whole bunch of animatronics on the floor here. First, we got a Monty down here. We got two creepy crimson girls on swings. Cracked skull zombie breakers to the fore. Jumping spiders. We got Nozzles the Clown. In fact, we have two Nozzles over here. No, I was wrong. We actually have three nozzles and we have a straw man. Look at this, guys. We have two Grimms over here and holy crap, they actually have a Beetlejuice animatronic in here. How cool is that? I am really surprised to see this guy. He is $279.99 and then you could use your 20% off coupon to get him. Man, if I had the Hummer right now, I would totally buy him because I would have some space to put him. But even in my giant RV, there's just no room to put these big animatronics. So I either have to send my son money and tell him to keep an eye out for them, or I have to order them online. We got a swinging witch up here and we have the possessed pumpkin. I'll tell you guys, I have been considering buying up a bunch of swinging props and getting the motors so they could actually swing. And then I could do like a whole haunted playground theme in my front yard for trick or treat. All right, so let's see. So she is $79.99 for the swinging witch. The creepy crimson girl is $79.99 as well. Let's go over here where it usually is and see if they have the soul girl. And I mean, they have another swinging witch, but I don't see the empty soul girl. I believe that she is the same price though, probably $79.99. And then if you wanted them to actually swing, you'd have to get either this swinging mechanism or the deluxe swinging mechanism. The only difference I think is that this one holds four pounds, this one holds 11. All right, let's see how much, $34.99 extra for the swinging mechanism. And what about the deluxe one? That one is $59.99, but I don't think you'd need that one. I think that these swinging props like the witch and the other ones would probably work perfectly fine with the four pound mechanism. What do you think? Come on, like why do you always have to keep everything a secret? That's not even something you would keep a secret about. I'm not gonna tell you what I have for breakfast. What do you think about that? You know what, lunch either. Forget it, not even dinner. All right, let's go through the spooky I love bad breath. You need Aqua Fresh. you need a Tic Tac, and you need a lobotomy or something. All right, let's check out the creepy dolls here. We have a Rosalie right on top. Look at that cute little cracked face. We have an eerie Emma in the back. Let's just compare these two for a minute. Look at those faces. Don't you wanna adopt them and take them home as your new friends? We have the creepy cracked face baby doll. We have decrepit Donna, which let's compare all three of these guys. Look at that. I love how these two have the blue eyes, but it's so cool how all three of them have cracked faces and curly curls. We also have a Hugs here. We've seen him in a lot of stores. And we have the Vintage Wolfman. Oh, I guess that's all of them. I thought there was a Vintage Clown down here, but I guess not. We have a few zombie babies here, and it's the ones we're seeing in all the stores, guys. 
this guy who's very, very angry, and this guy who just can't seem to get enough spiders. Would you like a brain, sir? I know, that's a heart. Nobody got the joke when I did it the other day. Here we go. Would you like a brain, sir? Man, look how nice and well organized all the masks are in this store. I have been to some stores where it's been such a mess. Like, people come through, they're trying on every single mask in the store, and they just dump it on the floor. They don't bother to, like, put it back where it goes. Look at the face on this guy. Whoa, have I seen this one before, guys? Have we looked at this? The bloody psycho? Look at that. That is actually pretty cool. Look at how the skin is gone from his nose. And this is definitely one of my favorites that I've been seeing this year, ham skins. I've said it before, I'll say it again, it reminds me of the movie Monster House and makes me wanna go home and watch Monster House every time. Oh no, a bottle! All right guys, let's move on over to here because I noticed there is a whole bunch of Mr. Punchies. This cracks me up right now. There are one, two, three, four Mr. Punchies here. It cracks me up because one of the stores that I was in in Tallahassee, I think it was the one in the mall, the guy that was working there just kept saying, all we want is one punchy. But for some reason, some stores don't get any and some get a whole plethora. Wait a minute, we haven't gone through the electric tunnel of death yet. All is quiet on the home front. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. It's just a normal little spooky tunnel. It's okay, wait. What in the heck is that? And what is this? Oh, it stopped. <laughs> and what is this? It's some sort of electric death. And look at this, guys. We also need to acknowledge how well everything is working in this store. We have both the blue bubbles of death tubes working, as well as both the monitors back here. How cool is that? Look at Dr. Illum going crazy. And Grim is getting electrocuted to death. Here we go, Illum is about to turn into the Nightcrawler. There he is. We had to come into the tunnel to see it happening. There's the Nightcrawler. He's coming to kill us. I'm just a kid. Oh my gosh, what people must think seeing me make these videos. Look at all this stuff we have over here, guys. We have good guys dolls. We have sitting Sam dolls. We have decaying zombie groundbreakers. We have Chucky and Tiffany. We have Sam greeters. We have Winnie statues and more decaying zombie groundbreakers. I get so excited I can't even talk straight. I just love how stocked they are. Look at all these jumping spiders. We got ghost face inflatable. Sam inflatables. We have Sam snow globes that are sparkly. We have Sam greeters, Chucky greeters, all kinds of awesome glasses. We have Michael Myers and Sam statues. Tons of hocus pocus on this side and this side. Lots of awesome signs. Lots and tons and tons of Beetlejuice. Look how many Lydia sidesteppers they have. I think there's eight of them down there. Oh my gosh, guys, I just caught myself thinking, man, I really want that sitting Sam doll. Look how cool he looks, but he won't fit in the RV. If I could just make a stack in these stores of everything I want and then pay for it and be like, just airmail it to my house. I know, that was pretty cool. I love these giant Sam planters here because to me it's not a planter, it's an enormous cereal bowl. Holy crap, did you guys see the chocolate frosted flakes with marshmallows specifically for Halloween? A whole box would fit in Sam's head. All right, let's leave a few stickers here for Sam. Let's leave a couple for Bottomless Joe here. Let's leave a couple for High Five. Let's leave a couple for our squawking chicken. Hello, rat. Let's leave a couple in the bucket. Oh my gosh, guys, I bet I have left 3,000 stickers in stores so far this season. I'm not even kidding. Let's make that 3,001. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I hope nobody saw me trying to eat intestines. Wait, here I go again. Did we even look at Monty? What in the world is happening with Monty? His bottom jaw is missing. Maybe he got a little too mouthy with some of the other animatronics. Wait, is this a different Freddy glove than I've seen? Oh no, it's the same one. The Deluxe Supreme 
Freddy glove that's actually made of metal. Man, if you bought this thing, you would have to be so careful with it as to not slice and dice. I can't help it. I'm hyper. Hmm, another thing I think every time I see it that I want to buy, this trick-or-treat knife, and not just the trick-or-treat knife, but I want to buy all of them that are like this. There's a Crouchy, there's a Ghost Face. I'm not sure if there's a Michael Myers or not. Yeah, here's the Ghost Face one here. And yeah, they even have the Crouchy. Check it out. That is pretty cool. I don't think they have any other ones like these, but I don't remember right offhand. So this is the Michael Myers one I was thinking of, and it's just a completely different style, which actually drives me insane. Like these are all basically the same style, and then they have this ginormous one up here. And the other thing that drives me nuts is that these are, these two are in one position and that's in another position. Like it's pointing the complete opposite direction. Oh well, I think I'll get them anyways. All right guys, I think we're gonna take off. I've had enough fun in this store and I have plenty of other stores to go to yet. Look at these hanging ghouls and goblins. It's so much fun just to come in here and hang out and look at all the cool stuff. And I put the knives back and I bought something else. All right, guys, that is it for this specific Spirit Halloween in Mississippi. I will see you guys in the next video. Stick around because we still have a whole bunch more to go before the season is over. Mm -hmm.